Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to episode 3 of Pretty Little Lies The Perfectionist and I am actually really 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 obsessed with this show right by now like by episode 3 like if you're not obsessed it's kind of warning signs that you should be quitting that show but I don't have those and I'm actually really happy and glad that I'm having those I'm not having those feelings because the show is really cool and it's incorporating things that I loved from Pretty Little Liars but also it keeps it fresh and new and exciting and it's awesome. So I'm ready for the next chapter, are you guys? You must be because you clicked on this video. So let's go. Is it cool to do that? <laughs> not according to the emails that the university keeps sending me. But that's not your problem. Whoa. You all call me Allison. First name basically. I'm a TA, not a professor. Oh. A little bit of informality it will help. <clears throat> Mr. Allison, why did you say we were here with you that night Nolan was killed? Why did you lie for us? The beacon guard cameras in this area were down when Nolan was killed. Where were you, really, when Nolan was killed? Walking home. Yeah, me too. So, you didn't do anything? To do? Nothing. I want you to act like nothing is out of the ordinary. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Oh, I think you can do anything you set your mind to. Woo! And when the stakes are this high, you have to stick together. And what are you gonna do? Nothing I haven't done before. <laughs> With all due respect, Mrs. Hotchkiss, she lied about where they were that night. What? She said she was with the others at Alison De Laurentiis' house. She wasn't. Well, is it possible they went there after they separated and they were at Allison's when Ellen was killed? It's possible, but I know a liar when I see one. And they're all covering for each other. If I show you, then I know you won't do what I say. Cause two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. It's like there's so much going on, I need to make a list to prioritize my anxiety. Well, is priority number one on your list no one's stat? Because that's the number one on Yeah. Like what? Andrew's out of town for the week. He's in Seattle. And our anniversary is coming up, so I'm composing a piece for him. Aww. That's very sweet. But aren't we still supposed to be Nolan's perfect posse? Eva, I'm sorry. I just can't squeeze it in. This is what we don't want to see because then she's gonna go what looking for someone else. What the hell are you else. talking about, Allie? I said that alibi was good for you, not half your class. <laughs> you have some tricks so that we can see what she's up to. Under normal circumstances, good idea. Today, no can do. I'm locked out of BHU's network. All of my records and my code, everything's been walled off. What? Why? Suspicious activity on my account. They must know I've been trying to figure out who killed Nolan. But we oh. need to do our own suspicious activity. Well, right now there's only one database I still have access to. Books. He's not normally in that class, right? Get out of his seat. I mean... Mason. Get out of his seat, Mason! Oh, shit. Excuse me, there's a friend running no, away. Just, uh, upset. I forgot the book. I thought you might be checking on your friend, Ava. She seems upset about something. Noisy bitch. You three never spent any time together unless you were around no one. <laughs> Alright. Uh. I gotta go to class. Was he holding something on you? No. How did she get those? Nothing stays secret forever. Your boyfriend Nolan's phone. Was he the one who showed it to you? I mean, we both knew it was fake and he wanted to warn me. Some people will believe anything they see. I don't want to get her into trouble, but uh, she seemed a little aggressive, don't you think? <laughs> While I know that Ava's actions have no place in the classroom, I think you sitting in Nolan's seat was a little insensitive. Well, that's exactly what he would have done. What, you're the new Nolan? You and so things changed. He changed. I guess having your name on half the buildings on campus will do that to you. You know, pretty soon all those benefits, well, you took them away. 
Long feet. Nolan died. Life goes on. And you're wearing my coat, which is something I've seen you do a lot of before this week. Wow. 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 <laughs> By what other people think of me. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> this is kind of sad, but that. also like. I'm sorry. So fun. Thank you, Ripper. Seen me, really. Man, it play is playing out exactly how they want. Uh, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, I'm keeping it together. <laughs> Your new head of security, Dana Booker, came to see me today. She showed me some photos from no one's phone. Shit. Some embarrassing ones of my Yeah, mom. I've seen them. Thank you, Claire. Really, if there's anything that I can do for you, anything. Oh man. Actually, there oh, is. Oh man, oh man, this is they not know good. They Booker said that she's looking into three people and the investigation of Nolan's murder. Um, and Claire. Now, I know you had nothing to do with it. Yeah. But Dylan is a small town boy and Ava is a felon's daughter. The stakes aren't as high for them. Do you understand? Yeah, I think Red. so. Flag should be fucking Did flying right now. On them? See, this is this is not. Uh, well, when have you ever tried and not succeeded? <laughs> okay, see, Thank you. if I was her, if I was Caitlin, I'd be going to the other two and saying, "This is what she has said to me. Someone's onto us because red fucking flags." Uh, he's super smart. Used to be besties with Nolan, and that probably ended when Nolan started dating his girlfriend. Plus, he's model cute. Why? <laughs> Following a hunch. At least that means you're on the right track, right? It does. Which is good, because if I don't find out, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life knowing that I'm the one who got him killed. What? None of us got him killed, Mona. Uh. Maybe. But whoever did this is smart, Allie. Smart enough to pin this murder on anyone they want. Wait. Hang on. From the time I was a little girl, I always heard, you're so much like your father. I love my mom, but my dad was my best friend. She's legit trying to find out. Well, obviously she doesn't know. It means a lot that you took the time to bring this to me. Thank you. I'm coming with you. I sense what a bond developing. You? you went out of your way to do something nice for me. And I did make you a promise. My coat and... I want it back. <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs>